Hello, I'm Ao Wang, a third year PhD student from George Mason University. And I'm going to talk about the FastNet, a scalable and fast provisioning of custom serverless container runtimes at Alibaba Cloud Function Compute. This is a joint work with Alibaba Cloud and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. The FAST also is called the Function as a Service, which is a new cloud computing paradigm. FAST allows users to launch short-lived tasks, and the service providers are responsible for high elasticity and charge users with fine-grained resource billing, such as AWS Lambda charge users at one millisecond granularity. The popular use cases of FAST include backend APIs, event processing, and etc. Like AWS Lambda, FAST still has some roadblocks and constraints. The biggest limitation is the service providers only allow the, the cloud tenants to pack their function code to zip archives at megabytes level. Any other logic or data in the function that exists this limitation should be stored in another remote cloud storages. This incurs more complexity and difficulty for the users to develop and maintain their function code. At the end of 2020, several large serverless computing providers like AWS Lambda and Alibaba Cloud Function Compute announced that they have already enabled the custom container supports. And this feature has relieved the pain of the limitation of the function code size. Because with the fast and custom container runtimes, you can ignore the constraints and unlock a lot of scenarios especially for the applications with large dependencies, like AI inference, inferencing, big data analytics, and video processing. The user could deploy the function with the custom container at the gigabytes level with more advanced DevOps, which it makes service accessible to a broader audience. As we can see, fast with container could combine the best of both worlds to accelerate the development process. To better understand the tenant's behavior in FAS, we conduct a comprehensive study on Alibaba Cloud Function Compute workloads in the two largest regions during May 2021. Here, we select the Beijing and Shanghai region. First, we survey the request per second timeline of two typical functions. As the plot shown in the slides, the X axis is the timeline, the Y axis is the request per second. In the gaming service, the RPS suffers a 22 times spike. Also in the IoT function, we can see the RPS fluctuate between thousands and hundreds. The workload is bursty and dynamic. Next, let's dive into the workload metrics include the image pool latency distribution and how the image pool dominates the function code start procedure. The result shows almost 60% of the image pooling procedure cost larger than 45 seconds. And a large amount of function startup time is spent on image pooling process. Our two insights are as follows. First, the workload is burstiness and dynamic. Second, the image pool latency always intends of second level and dominates the function startup latency. Corresponding to those two insights, to handle the workload dynamicity, we need to scalable and resilient large number of containers provisioning system. Second, to reduce the cold start latency, we need to shorter the and optimize the performance of container provisioning process. Next, uh, let's see the typical architecture of the fast provider. Here is the design of the Alibaba Cloud Function Compute Service. Each VM machine in our cluster has limited resources where it is required equipped with two core CPUs and four gigabyte memory and a one gigabit per second VPC network. When the user issues the request to the front end, all the VMs will fetch container images at the same time from one container, one centralized container registry which could be the performance bottleneck and the diversity request. The state-of-the-art solution for accelerating container image distribution frameworks like 
Dragonfly, Kraken, and Dali from ATC20. They are good for the normal cloud computing scenario, but they have some design constraints showing in the slides. Also, the uniqueness of fast workload result in that we could not directly adapt those frameworks on our fast platform. Like Dali is relying on powerful centralized root node to feed the data, which is not feasible in our architecture. And the network topology of Dali is ephemeral, which is not suitable for the dynamic fast workloads. So we propose FastNet, a scalable and fast provisioning of custom serverless container runtime middleware at Alibaba Cloud Function Compute Service. The agenda of the rest of my talk is as follows. Here is the global view of FastNet system design. The gray box is what we have modified. We design an in-memory data structure called function tree in set FastNet. The function tree is generated from AVL tree algorithm. Function tree is a perfect self-balanced binary tree and maintained a function granularity. Each function is mapping to a distinct function tree. This design options will shrink the active connection in each resource limited VM and also guarantees that the image and the layer of a function container would traverse the minimum hops from the top to the bottom. And we expose two APIs. The first one is insert. The second one is delete. Here is the example of a function trees among two cloud tenants. We also designed the protocol for container provisioning. At the beginning of the procedure, the scheduler will query the corresponding function tree to get the metadata when the request come in. When the scheduler query the metadata, it will send it to the VM1, which is a downstream VM. When the VM1 gets the manifest of this function, it will download the image manifest from the metadata store and load the image. Next, it will coordinate with the scheduler to tell the scheduler that I'm ready to create the container. At the last, the VM1 will fetch the, da the data from the upstream VM, which is VM2. Next, let's see how FastNet outperforms other systems. We perform the evaluation in two parts, micro benchmarking and production workloads. Except for the scale of the cluster, the experiment environment is the same as our production setup. Each VM is with two core, four gigabytes memory and one gigabit per second VPC network. Our test bed is up to 1000 VMs. The sample function is a Python based function with two second logic. In the micro benchmarking parts, we perform a stress test on five systems. The X axis is the concurrent request we sent to the fast platform. Y axis is the container startup latency. Kraken means the dev cluster of Kraken from the GitHub official GitHub repo. Baseline is the original function computes. When the concurrent requests go up, the latency is increasing in both Kraken and Baseline. Here's the result of on-demand and Dali plus P2P. On demand is the original Alibaba Cloud Function Computes with IO data efficiency formats. DAD plus P2P is meaning the function computes, which is integrated with Alibaba DAD system. Since the IO efficiency data format shorter the latency, but they still have the poor scalability. Thanks to the function tree design, FastNet could deliver the best scalability. The latency do not be affected under the high comparison level. And under the 128 concurrent level, the FastNet could uh, perform 13 times better than the baseline and bracket. We also perform a large scale test. Thanks to the function tree uh, hierarchical structure, FastNet only used seven to eight seconds to finish provisioning 2,000 containers. Let's shift our eye to the production workload-driven test. The 
The plot shows the latency and RPS as a function of a time. The blue line represents the fastnet. We can observe that the latency spike of fastnet is 5.6 times better than on demand, when the RPS shoots from 20 to 4,030. Also, fastnet uses only half minutes to bring the latency back to normal. But on demand requires more than two minutes, which is unacceptable in our production environment. Also, we record the function startup latency in both systems. Fastnet could speed container provisioning latency more than seven times compared to on demand. Since the function tree unlocks the bottleneck of the central container registry. To conclude my talk, the Fastnet is the first system that provides an end-to-end -end integrated, integrated solution for fast optimized container runtimes, which we integrate it into Alibaba Cloud Function Compute Service. Fastnet can still 13 times faster than the Alibaba Cloud current fast platform. And thanks for your listening. If you have any further questions or issues that are related to the Fastnet, please feel free to contact me at this email address. And most importantly, we have released the function tree prototype and the Alibaba Cloud Function Compute Cloud Co-Star Traces at the following link. We'll come to fork it and to do the to do the advanced research on it. Thank you.